Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Rui and in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily add and modify visual overview files to elements in your data miner system. This uh, is an element that is representative of a machine running the Windows Server 2019 and this is its visual overview. A visual overview or simply visio is a unified graphical user interface card allowing real-time observability and control over element settings. With visual overviews, ICT media and broadband engineers enjoy instant access to stats, historical time series, data miner AI augmented enrichment, alarms on individual parameters, their overviews, aggregation at element level, and much more. For the purposes of this demo, we're going to be working with this particular element and its duplicate. Allow me to explain. When you right click on an element card, you can see that you can set uh, visual overviews at the protocol level or at the element level. At the protocol level means that all other elements existing in the system running on top of the same connector, in this case, the Microsoft platform, will also see their visual overviews change to whatever it is that I'm going to be setting here. To set, you can choose either a general default one, you can choose the, the visual that is default to this protocol, or a custom one that you can upload from a blank file or from an existing file in your file system. So for now, I'm going to set it at the protocol level to the general default. When the visual is assigned, not only it assigns it to the element itself, but also to all other elements in the system running on top of the same protocol. This is because we assigned it at the protocol level, not at the element level. To assign it at the element level, once again, you can upload it from a blank file, you can upload it uh, from an existing file in your file system, or from an existing file already uploaded into the data miner system. But in this case, we're going to be setting it at the element level from a file they already have on my file system. And now we're back to the original visual overview. As you can see, it was changed on the element itself, but it did not change on any other element in the system, even though they're running on top of the same protocol. This again is because we set it at the element level and not at the protocol level. And this is how you can easily add and modify visual overview files to elements in your data miner system. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you on the next one.